So here is something fun. I've managed to break Grok, have it go into a loop, and give up on me. A little prehistory to this. Cubic founder come from beyond, or CFB, has posted a tweet where Grok did not solve a complex math equation correctly. Later, he posted something interesting in the Cubic Discord, explaining that if a large language model ends up in a zero delta situation, it cannot develop further and breaks. So what does that mean exactly? Large language models develop in iterations, where each iteration is an improvement of its previous state. The problems appear if the improvement is negligible or zero. In such situation, the whole system breaks. It doesn't just stop working, but because it cannot admit to being wrong, it'll go into a loop and break. So I thought, really? Can you really manipulate, install, or break a public large language model? Well, naturally, I went to ChatGPT and asked it how to break it by tricking it into seeing a zero delta improvement. ChatGPT, being boring and all, told me how it's not going to help me with that. So I went to Grok, and Grok was like, you want to hack me? Here's how to do it, bro. I took that formula from CFB's Twitter post, plugged it into Grok to get it to produce the answer, and then I told it that the answer is wrong and that it should try again. And that's when it glitched out. Suddenly, it went into an endless loop, pages and pages trying out a bunch of numbers to solve the equation until it stalled half sentence and died. Great success. Keep in mind, with few experiments, you can manipulate any large language model to hallucinate and die this way. The moral of the story is that these large language models are simply databases with slightly better search algorithms. There is no thinking going on there, and these are not the systems that will get you to a sentient AI, against many of the industry leaders' claims. Look into Cubic. They are building a real sentient AI that's not based on large language models but rather a different evolutionary AI logic that can think, reason, and not get locked up with a simple math formula. Start with the introduction video, and then listen to the AI Garth video. That's all from me for today. Please leave a like or a comment. See you next time.